by outscoring Bentley. They have to keep the Bentley points down to a level that they can match. Green back toward Musgrove. She'll drive. Short jumper is good. I rely on her tonight. Obviously, she's their leading scorer, but not the start they want. Keep feeding her, though, and try to get her in a rhythm, even if it means a couple of misses. Three-pointer from Lauren. Green goes down. Nothing going down. They get a lot of good looks. Just not going in. Kick outside, three-pointer, Smith is good. Trying to work against that zone, finds a soft spot and hits another three. This year, and most of those play regularly. They've, they've all played in at least half the games. Dravina Bennett on the quick transition three. So back-to-back -back for Bentley and two out of three against the same opponent for Merrimack and they just could not hang with the Falcons as there's another deflection and a steal by Lewis. Rather, that's Musgrove with no one in front. And she's got eight points. Yeah, she's been all over. 82 points a game. Best offensive team in the conference. So many different ways that they can beat you. Three-point try from Mackie Smith. Yes, and she draws the foul. Going from in close, and that's usually been the case. She scored 11 or more points in every game of her Merrimack career. That would be a boon as Victoria Lux goes right back to work. And here's Wish went down. Smith the other way, lost her handle on it. Three-point attempt by Green is good. Excellent ball movement again. Lux against Casey. Tough points. but Smith inside to Lux, turns around, throws it up. No, rebound back into Lux's hands. Kick out three. Green straight on is good. Here goes Mackie Smith driving to the hoop, and she scores. This is Merrimack's third home game of the season is great dish by Lux and there's Lewis's first basket 28 to 15 jumper via piano is true work it in tight to Lux long two-pointer is good from Lauren Green and a good opening statement by Bentley in the first 30 seconds of the fourth there right now Smith works past Werner they swing it into the corner for Bennett and Trevina Bennett, her Warner on her, gives back toward Cassie Smith. Green gives Lux, 16 footer off the glass. But the fouls have certainly thrown off her rhythm. Musgrove, the jumper right out of the out of bounds play. Pace of the game, she's done that a few times tonight. Via piano strip, but there on the follow is Lauren Griffin who's just come into the game. They got off to a tremendous start. Didn't look back. Three-pointer from Fontaine, and she hits her first of the day. Falcons will improve to 10-1. and one. The Warriors will drop to 5-5. Five and five. And Bentley will move into first place. Tied up with Stonehill for the top spot in the division. Well, that 11-0 start really set the tone, and despite a gritty effort from the Warriors, in the end, the number eight team in the country, the Bentley Falcons, take care of business on the road as they move to 4-0 away from Waltham and win this one by a final score of 80-59. to An impressive effort from Bentley all around. That's what top teams do. They were in a close game for most of it, but when it, when it came time to, to separate themselves, they were able to separate with minimal effort. Now the leading scorer in this one for the Falcons was Victoria Lux with 17 points. She lived up to her advanced billing. A tremendous game from her. Excellent second half. And the Falcons win this one to improve to 10-1 and 6-1 and and in the conference. The Warriors drop to 5-5 five five with a 3-4 record in the Northeast 10 Conference.